Welcome. Do you want to know the process of vitamin D synthesis? And how much sun exposure do we need? Vitamin D is a sunlight vitamin that has been produced on Earth for over 500 million years. Vitamin D is only one of the 13 vitamins that the human body can make. Vitamin D comes in two forms Vitamin D2 and D3. Vitamin D is synthesized in the human body in sufficient quantities if there is enough exposure to sunlight and with a properly associated organ function such as skin, liver, and kidney. Food can't provide the required quantities of vitamin D ultimately. Humans do not need a vitamin D diet if they are to get enough sunlight. If you do not get enough sunlight to make the vitamin D you need, and your diet cannot make the rest, you need a supplement. The process of vitamin D3 synthesis. Sebaceous oil glands in the skin secrete 7-dihydrocholesterol on the skin surface. The process begins when the ultraviolet energy of the sun acts on this 7-dihydrocholesterol in the skin. The result is provitamin D3, which is inactive. Before D3 can work, it must go for further conversion to the liver and then to the kidneys. The final product is active vitamin D, technically known as 125-dihydroxyvitamin D or calcitriol. The process of vitamin D2 synthesis, humans do not make vitamin D2. Vitamin D2, ergocalciferol, is produced by invertebrates, some plants, and fungi. The biological production of D2 is induced by ultraviolet light. Both photosynthetic vitamin D2, ergocalciferol, in plants and vitamin D3, colocalciferol, synthesized in the skin of animals and humans in response to sunlight must go through your liver and kidneys to be converted into the active form of vitamin D. How much sunlight we need depends on these factors, the position of the sun in the sky that is the time of day, season, and latitude. Use of sunscreen, don't use SPF 8 or above. Body surface area exposed. Cloud cover. Air pollution. Skin pigmentation. Age. How much sunlight is needed? Exposure to about 15 minutes of sunlight, each day can help prevent vitamin D deficiency. Exposure time required for those with darker skin color increases with respect to skin color level. The ability to make vitamin D appears strong in adolescence and decreases with age. According to vitamin D researchers, about 5 to 30 minutes of sunlight between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at least twice a week on the face, arms, legs, or back without sunscreen usually lead to sufficient vitamin D synthesis. Moderate use of commercial tanning beds that emit 2% to 6% UVB radiation is also effective. Be careful with too much sunlight. Excessive sun exposure leading to skin cancer is not recommended as there is a risk of ultraviolet radiation. Despite the sun's importance to vitamin D synthesis, it is prudent to limit skin exposure to sunlight and tanning beds from UV radiation. UV radiation is responsible for 1.5 million skin cancers and 8,000 deaths each year from metastatic melanoma in the United States. Lifetime cumulative UV damage to the skin is also more likely to cause some age-related dryness and other cosmetic changes. What is the dose of UV light? The dose of UV light is indicated according to a person's skin sensitivity. Minimum erythema dose, MED, which is the amount of UV radiation that produces minimal erythema, redness caused by sunburn or capillary engorgement, of a person's skin within hours of exposure. A two-piece swimsuit provides a minimum erythema dose of 10,000 to 25,000 IU, the amount of the sun that the skin begins to turn pink. Healthy Eating Bowl is an informative nutritional website that provides factual knowledge from researched peer-reviewed articles, 